Hi, Laura J. Queen in the toilet. And I wanted to say that it occurred to me that we have been getting distracted by the daily details. Because the drama of those daily details is easier to get locked into than the pattern that is behind it, which is that when I clean the toilet and am able to have an enjoyable experience of my home where I live with my grandpa, so it's not mine for the sense I don't pay for it, but energetically I treat it as if it is. And that is where the shift comes in that I believe we can do. So if you want to, then be part of the hub for humankind. Our first event is in May, but we've got lots of opportunities coming up in the meantime. So I'm going to get myself presentable and tell you about it. Maybe there's like a fast forward button. You don't have to see me. In all of my getting ready phases. But this is how I woke up. So, <laughs> how would I normally treat this? I would likely jump in the shower. Oh, do you ever just scratch your head for the sake of it? Oh, it's so good. It gets your um, scalp stimulated, so blood starts flowing there. Maybe add a boost for your brain as well. You get the enjoyment of scratching, not just grazing fingers. Over your scalp. Ugh. Beautiful. Okay. So then, once you got that, and then <sighs> we start putting together the coolest painting, the portrait that we are all painting our lives with. How much cover up and covering are we gonna do? Well, that's what we're gonna have to decide. We have to decide all of the details if we're gonna create this scene. So, what does that mean? It means like putting intentional effort in. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, I didn't go to bed until 3 a.m. because I got way too excited about what we're creating. I will also say, that once you give a little cover up, you can blend it in so it's not nearly what it was, but you wouldn't get there if you didn't go through that other phase, right? So. Wow. That like highly sprinkles in a major way. Will it cake down like that? And when you're dehydrated, oh my goodness. Wow, that's amazing. I just aged myself significantly. Wow. So, that was the skin before. So look how artificial we make ourselves. Like, I'm just giving myself a good... Under eye. Wrinkles because your skin's very Oh yeah, shit. What am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? How am I supposed to be? Tell me. Everything needs to be prescripted if we're going to stand on it and feel familiar with it. Otherwise, it's not familiar, right? So, we got to create it ahead of time. When we're writing our life, what do we want our life to look like? We have an opportunity to do the impossible. We have an opportunity to put an apostrophe where the I am becomes I am. We have an opportunity to see the je suis in Jesus as an I shy of je suis, which is I am. I am the way, the light. I am is the way. Those words are part of our creative destiny. And when we actually choose to be 
the ones that we were waiting for before, then once they're in our way, do you know what I mean? I want you to also consider the fact that, generally speaking, you only see how someone presents themselves to be after they've already put it on. After they've already done everything to paint themselves up, pretty themselves up, as we often say. You only really get to see the end result of that. I'm going to change my clothes still. I'm going to maybe even actually straighten my hair today. Because I want to straighten a few things out, and we're already on video. We started with the toilet, and so now we're going to then just add some heat. This is so exciting. I finally realized how much of my identity got defined when I went to England and then came back because the relationship didn't work. Well, it, it did work for three and a half years. I was over there. Living in England in Worcester and Hamley Castle. My two homes were living in England. As a kept woman that didn't have a title. It's kind of just never been important to me and quite frankly I don't know about giving up my identity as I was born, for I am Laura Jeannie. The genie in the bottle? Okay. So now that the genie is coming out of the bottle and we're having more fun in the presentation of the insanity that we have all been impacted by, I believe, that it is time for us to write a new script. What do you say? Can you afford to give up the victim story, the dialogue that you have with yourself and all of those characters and Cartman's drama triangle inside your head? Can you afford to break up with that version of you, that image that you have of yourself and then you create a whole character around in order to be part of? When you're ready, when you've reached the optimal heat, would you agree that it would be neat to know how to actually reclaim your sesquibly trust of 1666 when we were all declared dead and lost at sea under the Vatican, you see? The Holy See? The, the Vatican City and Christianity generally, which is the mixing of two unequal elements. One is real, legitimate, the people, and then the other is just only the... An aspect. But I want you to see the difference this is going to make, because it's going to be profound. I don't know how the hair regenerates so well, to be honest, because it's just like... Oh, I'm going to get some coconut oil on there. Coconut milk anti-breakage serum. I have found over the years that it works well. Coconut milk. Definitely not healthy. <laughs> Specifically. I feel the neurotoxins in my hand. You know, we've got a lot of shit in our stuff nowadays, in our products, especially because we are actually declared to be products. Products of our environment, right? Well, you've never probably considered putting it into this kind of perspective because I hadn't thought about it until I did now and I've never heard anyone else do it, so how would you think of it until someone else brought your attention to it, or a version of you did. Because that is what it's truly all about. I have a difficult knot at the bottom of my hair that could easily be gone over easy. 
I can just pretend it doesn't exist. Like I don't have a knot up there. But then I just spend some extra time in elbow grease. And I get the knots out. So then I actually kind of re relate this to contrast. Because knots are what I don't want, because I would like for my hair to be free and unentangled, just like I would like for my life to be. And so when I notice that there's a knot somewhere, then I realize that whatever is being described is actually getting the focus even though there's a knot there. So if I talk about wanting to lose weight, I'm putting my energy into weight which means then I'm going to get more weight because I have to wait longer for the results, which then take me out of now in order to sit in this future that hasn't happened yet. And then I judge myself because I'm not there yet. And it's so hard and it's so much. And oh God, it's just easier to give up than say, and then I'm going to deal with it in the future or we just don't deal with it. And then what? It gets left in the waters of us. How is that going to serve the greater collective when we realize that each and every single one of us are individuated expressions of the whole, the holograph within the bigger whole, the pixel of the hologram that is just only one block, because that's what we would take up in the gallery, except for instead of just only being that, we start to see where it's at. We start to see what's happening, who's coming. We start to get ourselves there too. <laughs> and then there's lots in the oven that we as a coven can come together in order to bring about. And I am not a witch, so don't misunderstand me. But what else do you call a gathering of empowered people? That dare to not revere the false idols of industries that tell us what we can and cannot share based on what information is accepted versus what actually works. Compared to is a word that you can use next to legislation or C.F., which means to confer to, which means that I'm aware of this legislation, which I am also aware you need to be aware of. And now I'm putting you on notice in your private capacity so that you have to say that what is in there that is your duty to perform is not okay. That it would cause me harm, loss, and be fraudulent if you actually moved forward with it. So I'm going to suggest you remove it. You redact it, you extract any attachment or association with me to it, and then we're not going to have any issues between you and me privately, right? How honorable is that? How honorable is it for us to see that if we actually do the thing that we have been talking about, that is exactly when we start to see that we are the players on the field of consciousness and it is our opportunity to stop trying to wake people up to an ugly truth they don't want to wake up to, or they would have already. Or we actually create something better that they can tune into instead and then that's when they get their vision back. Their creative energy can be employed again instead of occupied by the consciousness of something outside of us that would make us believe ourselves to be less so that then we don't want to create <coughs> because we don't want to be judged. None of us want to be judged. It's not comfortable. It hurts. The ego, the part of us that doesn't understand why people are so mean to one another. It's so it's unnecessary. Why do we try to power steal from one another? If we could just actually learn to get along nicely, 
But we all have had growing up to do. I just had a conversation with my mother. And she's just like, you have been so wicked that I don't trust you to not be wicked with me if I'm going to be connected to you. So I'm not having anything to do with anything. I asked her if she wanted to do a retreat at Soul's Path because she's an amazing quilter and she runs courses. And people come and they do the guild thing and sew together. And so I'm collaborating with Soul's Path Retreats in Blackstock and they've got 58 acres, they've got a beautiful lodge, two stories, 33 sleeping capacity inside, plus bunk beds outside. It's a perfect venue for amazing magical corporate endeavors, as well as ways to actually come together and create the new world that we are going to be leaving for the next generation who must also be involved in the creative process. If we want their engagement, they have to be involved. It's natural and obvious. How have we missed it? Except for we do until we don't. And then we don't judge ourselves because we didn't get it there faster. It's just like, okay, well, <laughs> that seems kind of obvious now that I give it some consideration, but I hadn't for long enough that now it's just like, okay. And so here is time for us to start crafting what we're going to do with all of that, which we have access to energetically. We are the safeguard for the land, air, and water of this world. And we have to see that we have past debris that needs to clear and we can do it using the Hopono Ono prayer. Claudio Stagi reminds me of this now, which I'm grateful for. And basically he says that we need to actually start with, please forgive me. I forgive you and mean it. It reminds me of a story that Carolyn Miss told actually, one of my favorites, about two young boys from Germany that ended up uh, running away from home and they were traveling around and one was an artist so he would sketch things and he sketched a bay that had some ships in it and uh, it ended up that he they were captured the boys were found and when they found the pictures they saw his talent and so they then re-employed him to do their bidings for them and so he was to go behind enemy lines and decipher all the signs of Navajo, his na Navajo, of his native tongue, and just now do it for the enemy instead of for the ones that he learned his native tongue from. Because it's more profitable to work for the man, right, than it is to actually work for a man that is in it with you in the trenches, doing his best to provide for his family and support himself with all of the expectations and responsibilities that are expected of men nowadays to be all of these things while being judged so harshly for not being those things historically because emotionally they weren't allowed to be expressive, which meant then they had to be oppressive, which is oppression, uh, depression, compression, repression, all of the pre-suffixes, the pre-suffixes, the prefixes that also have suffixes. Prefixes go at the start of a word that is rooted in to its place of importance within the larger picture where the prefix changes the meaning of it slightly by changing the end, the beginning of it. So re, pre, de, depression, 
all of those pressing matters feel different in the body. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I love the sound of the birds. Do you have birds around where you live? Do you get to listen to them just chirp away? Did you know I read a, or I saw a video that said the reason that birds soothe our nervous system is because birds only chirp when there's no threat. So historically, instinctually, we feel relaxed when the birds are chirping because they are our first alarm bell for our environment. When the birds aren't chirping, where are they? We've got to start asking these questions. We've got to start seeing that we are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the ones that we've been waiting for. We are the ones that we've been waiting for. We are the ones we've been waiting for. So it's true that we must do the impossible and do night to be bridges for those who can't make the jump alone. They're asking for our hand to come into the throne of their own power. That's where we straighten out a few things and say it's true that you can do whatever you need to if you'll do the inner work. If you'll do the inner work, you'll see respect, resonance, and resilience. I learned skills through practice or mentorship. Mentorship says come into the ship of my country. And if you see that's why, when you come online, you get influenced by all in your new sea. That's the trough that you're going to, to see people show off. Or just show and tell what matters then. What's happening in their lives? That's where you can start learning about the people in your environment. If you will learn about that, then you get to be around for the chat. That happens when we gather. That is what we're doing. Earth Day, there's a retreat now, and you can come take a peek. And if you want to see the tiny homes, we'll be talking about sustainable living and free energy. Talking about how we actually come together to do what's right and what we've all been trying to do. And when we fight, to do we will invent that's when we brought in the energy of restriction do you see how the diction tricks up to be me that we need to be anything other than we already are when we simply express it in a more empowered way. Well, what do you say? I wonder here today, and so I say, I send you love and look forward to playing with you live. When we come together to unite at Souls Path retreats and other places, because we're coming together to unify our efforts still. Instead of having to choose between all the parties, 
we can go to the same place where we can see that we are the ones we've been waiting for and then we'll see what's in store well i haven't done my hair since 2019 2020 actually I think I had just done my hair red in May 2020, so that's fine. The temperature went way down on my Affirmington hair straightener, but I quite like it, and my hair's never been so long before, so I appreciate that too. And I am going to say that I'm going to put gold on May eyelids because if not well why not you know why not this story comes to me as an important one that I've been meaning to tell for quite some time and I didn't quite know how to go about it without seeming defamatory towards an organization that is doing good things and also could be more accommodating to people with different beliefs outside of the Soji agenda. So why not in Brantford? I volunteered there in 2018-19 and basically it was in 2019 when I was doing a whole bunch of traveling and DMT trips and <laughs> I was going far out there and then I would go to Brantford Dam to smoke which was what I called the watering hole where people could go and meet people, see people. Come, people were coming in to buy weed and others wanted to stay and smoke it. And it was a little community. So I called it the watering hole. And I went regularly for a while. After a while off, after I first went around and then got involved with <laughs> one of the owners. And so it was just like two weeks of fun and then got totally ghosted and dropped and then yeah I stayed away for a while and then it was just like that was the only place that you could actually go and smoke weed and be around people that also did the same and didn't judge so I could go there and write so that was what I did during the five years well up until 2018 19 I think 2019 was when I stopped going to Amsterdam and that was when I also got locked up because I called the police to report the system was corrupt and the police must be in on it because I had personally experienced going to a legal pot shop on Main Street in Brantford before weed was legal. So how did that work if you're not saying that the police are just in bed with the organized crime rings that operate through different establishments like that, though I'm not saying that there was any affiliations that was not information I'm privy to expressly. I just wondered how it could possibly happen that way, given how crazy that is. Like, I was born to potentially be a police officer. I was interviewing to be a corrections officer. Like, I'm grateful I didn't go through with either of them, to be honest, because, like, if you join the Brotherhood and then you see through the lies and you don't want to buy it anymore, but you don't know what else to do, what are you going to do? Just keep on going along, right? Well, what if that's... What if the time for that is over? What if going along to get along is no longer the way that we do it? What if instead we create it? What if instead we straighten out our disagreements with one another and we maybe even add some bling with some <laughs> earrings? And then we see that the earrings were actually ways to amplify the sound of 
the energies, the frequencies that ultimately come to us. So it's the ear ring because it's Saturn's ring that amplifies things. Saturn is a bitch of a teacher, let me tell you. I need to fix this because I can't put it on, but if I could, you would see me like this, you like. <laughs> so, I'm going to just keep on the one and just like turn this way so you can only see that I have the necessary one and the other one just is going to um, be absent from the frame so that you think it's the same on both sides but you just don't know that I literally am not hiding it because it's not there but I'm hiding the fact that it's not there. So if you would see, you would notice that even this way, it would dangle a little bit if it was actually there. So just beware. Angles are everything, and angels are everywhere. Leave a comment down below, and share this with a friend that needs to know how to straighten out a few of these questions we've got culturally. We don't need to figure it out alone anymore. We just gather the best together and we have those conversations. I'm going to be getting a Twitch account going, so twitching.